Hi, let's see how we can take remote Linux machine from Windows 7 or higher. First send sudo apt upgrade command if you not did it before like in my case. If you done it then it is not required, so you can continue with the next command. After inserting the command please follow the instructions from the terminal. When it finishes, insert next commands one by one. In my video I already had performed the last three commands before to make the video, so you will see in my case the terminal response showing that the command was already done. Now it is the time to check the IP of the Linux machine and write it down. We will use it to connect remotely from Windows PC through remote desktop connection. In my case, the IP is 192.168.1.128. Now is the time to switch to Windows computer. Now open the remote desktop connection application and type in the IP address from Linux machine. Like can be seen I'm successfully logged in into the Linux machine. In the terminal the user is the same like on the local Linux machine, and it is working, even if I'm already logged in there locally. With this method you can be logged in with the same user on both sides on local machine, and in the remote also. The Linux version used is Linux Mint 20.2. This installation procedure it is working on all Linux versions older than 20.2. I tried the XRDP on Linux Mint version 20.3 but there seems to have some problems. One of them is that for the remote connection is missing the taskbar and has some graphical issues, in my case, of course. I will come back with updates as soon as I find the solution for it. Please be aware that using XRDP, like it is presented here, will expose yourself to a great risk, the connection is not secured so if you use remote desktop connection outside your local network, then somebody else can see what you are doing and which passwords are used. In the next videos, I will show you how to connect securely with XRDP over SSH. If this method worked for you please give a like and subscribe to my channel for next useful videos of how to do it in Linux Mint. Thank you for watching.